In this video, I'm going to show you how I installed this rainwater tank to catch the water that falls on top of my workshop roof. First up, I had to level the ground and it looks quite flat, but let me tell you, digging it by hand, it was an awful lot of soil to move, but got it done, ready for the next step. Originally, I planned to box up and put in crusher dust and I was going to sit the tank on crusher dust um, and I had sit situated that back a bit from the shed. I later decided against that and instead boxed up right near the shed and decided to make it out of concrete. The reasons for choosing concrete, I just wanted a fail safe option that I knew would be there as long as I wanted it to be. Um, if you've got any concerns at all you think you might move it in the future definitely go with a frame and crusher dust it works really well it's just not what i wanted for this situation so with a kookaburra watching on the concrete had set nice and hard by the following day i kept it wet and cool well as cool as i could for the first two days and that's just to aid in the concrete setting really hard after a few days i removed the forms and the slab was looking good I was very careful at this stage not to hit any of the edges because the concrete was still a bit green. I was just too impatient. I wanted to see how it looked. I left it two weeks before moving the water tank onto the pad. I had to use some steel bars to uh, roll the tank over there. Normally you'd flip a tank on its side to move it around, but we only had to move it a couple of meters onto the pad. So this is what we did. Luckily, my dad was over to give me a hand. So while it looked good sitting there, it wasn't going to do an awful lot until I hooked up the gutters. For that, I went with 90mm pressure pipe, which is the standard for this sort of job around here. Um, I laid it out as best I could on my shed floor and did a lot of the gluing and painting in the shed. I did have to get up and down the ladder several times, just test fitting to make sure all the bends were correct. I got there in the end. I also did as much of the painting as I could on the ground before it was up against the shed, which would have made it difficult. I used standard downpipe clips to attach the downpipe or the 90mm pipe to the shed. I decided to rivet it on. You can use a coarse threaded screw, but I figured a rivet would be the least problematic. This first side was only a short length of pipe and so I cut my teeth with this side, it was fairly easy and it came up looking good. I did paint the clips after to match the downpipe colour and the colour of the colour bond. In case you're wondering, this sheds evening haze on the walls and the roof is woodland grey. The second side was a much longer length and I can only purchase the pipe in 3 metre lengths just due to the length of my ute. It's a bit difficult to carry the full, I think they're 5 metre lengths, the full ones. Um, so I did have to extend this length. Getting that first 3 metre length up was pretty difficult but luckily my wife gave me a hand. And then this last little bit I just measured it to length, figured out the bends before I put it up there and then cut it to shape and it came up looking really good if I do say so myself. Overall, I'm really happy with it. In part two of this series, I'm going to show you how I'm going to hook up the down pipe for the water tank for any overflow. And I'm also going to show you how I hook up the pump to actually use this water around the property. So more on that in part two if you're interested. Thanks for watching. 